So back working on my sled again. Got some upgrades for the steering since uh, mine been getting pretty bad. Uh, some loose and the bushings are bad. So I got a new set of CFR bars. I also got a new set of CFR grips. I got new wiring for the handlebar switches for the off switch. And for the reverse switch, this also gives me all new uh, plugs for my hand warmers and reverse light. And it also moves my high beam, low beam down to the center console. And it moves my uh, hand warmers down to the center console. And then it just plugs into the OEM harness. So there's no cutting or nothing like that. It's all OEM plugs. Also has a plug for your tether. And then I have uh, the lower steering posts. This is the same steering post that comes in the 2021 Alpha. I also have a brand new OEM Alpha steering post. And I also have the lower bracket that goes with this steering post that clips on the end here. I also have some aftermarket bushings from SSI or BDX. This is the upper bushing and the bottom bushing. Here's a look at the stock bushing compared to uh, the aftermarket ones. They're a lot beefier and uh, they give you a lot more contact with the post to get rid of the slop. Also have a headlight delete. Another one that I'll be installing soon. And I have the light, I have the light bar mount that mounts here to hold this light bar. And then uh, that's it. Still waiting on some parts back from the powder coater so I can install my titanium bolts. I have like another set of arms for the suspension up at the powder coater right now that are getting done. But that'll be uh, next week before I get set. So now I'm gonna start taking the slit apart. I gotta take the hood off, side panels, and then I also gotta take the air box off and the throttle bodies to get down at the steering that's in underneath here in through these boots. And then also I'm gonna have to look at, there's a steering bracket that rivets into these rivets here. And uh, I think that's the bracket that is actually starting to break and why I'm getting some play in the steering. They actually made a reinforcement kit for it. So now I'm just gonna start taking this thing apart. So I just removed the stuff from the front, two springs over here from the pipe, four springs from here and the temperature sensor. Now I need to remove this air box and I need to remove the throttle bodies down inside and I need to remove this bar where I can get at everything in under this cover, this uh, air box here. And then that's where the steering post goes down inside down there. And I'll be replacing this steering post with this one here. And then I'll re be replacing this hat here with this hat and steering post. And then this steering post joins to this steering post with the linkage. And then that gives you a upright steering post that's exactly the same that's on the 2021 Alphas. And this is a 2014 Articat. So you can do this with any Articat from 2012 to 2021. It's the same chassis. And you can just uh, inter-swap the parts between them. So I got the power valve bar removed for the front. And now I've been loosening up all... I got to loosen up these two bolts for the steering bushing. I got to take out these two bolts for the hat. Also, there's or three bolts on each side for the hat. This bar has to go down and replace this one for the new steering shaft can slot down into it. So now I'm gonna remove the steering hat and these two bars, and I'm gonna work on removing the old steering posts and old handlebar setup. So this is the old uh, support where your pull cord comes up through and it holds your four ignition coils. Uh, this comes on like the 2012 to 2015. Already cats or any of the FX in the newer models. When you go to the M or the Alpha setup, you get this piece which holds your lower steering posts. This piece here. So these are the two new pieces I'll be getting ready to install. I also have uh, the SSI aftermarket steering bushings. So here's a look at stock bushing. You can see how it tapers in on both sides. It is a two piece bushing. And then you have the other one that replaces it is a one piece bushing that slips on over. It's much uh, thicker, has more coverage on the post. And then here is the upper bushing. So here's the stock bushing. It's very thin. This is actually a brand new OEM one that hasn't been used. And then you look at the new one is, uh, is way more surface area touching the post. Should eliminate some of the steering uh, play. Very good upgrade for any 2016 plus Articats. 
So just test fitting the upper steering post. I got uh, the SSI aftermarket bushing in. I just don't have the C-clip on it yet. Um, test fitting this bar that goes across that the steering post bolts into. Need to order four spacers because uh, this aluminum piece holds the four coils different than the previous one. The previous one had a separate mount for each coil and these actually uh, stack the coils on top of each other. Also got the lower steering posts uh, test fitted and then this actually bolts in to this piece back here. And I just need to install the other bushing up there. Need to clean this part up a little bit. And uh, steering post is all lining up down inside the snowmobile as well. And uh, everything's going good so far. Just needs to uh, get a few pieces from Articap. So I've installed the new uh, SSI BDX bushing for uh, no steering slot. It's got a, a top spring retaining ring and it also has a c-clip on the bottom that keeps it in place really easy to install this is it compared to the stock one it's a lot more it's a lot bigger bushing this one goes flush into the mount this one sticks up this much more just gives it a little bit more support now i just have to install this bushing slides on here and then that bushing there well slide into this steering shaft which I need to get cleaned up and greased and that's all to it. So just trying to replace these steering bushings in the, the lower uh, part of my sled down in the front so I got to remove this air box. So in order to remove the air box in these Articats you got to remove the throttle bodies. So I'm just working on getting all this out and in that way I can try to get this little bit of play out of the steering. Most of it is gone now from the aftermarket BDX bushings, but it's still a little bit, and I think is in the front of the sled. So just got a package in from Monster. I got the Monster finger guard, and I also got the Monster finger throttle for an Articat or Yamaha. Just working on installing the Monster finger throttle. So install the guard, it's just two bolts. Bolts are to the throttle. Now I just gotta undo these two bolts and it will uh, just slide onto my handlebars. So I have the Monster finger throttle installed with the guard. Very easy to put on, just two bolts. Bolts the guard in, one there, one on the inside end. Then the throttle cable just slides in. This supposed to be a C-clip that goes on the end there, which I seem to have misplaced. Throttle slips, throttle cable slips into your finger throttle. I actually have my throttle bodies out of my sled right now and then the throttle just comes down, bolts into that clip and wraps around the throttle. Taking off the uh, throttle bodies and I also took the reeds out since I have a set of V4C reeds picked up that I should be getting in the next few days. Now I'm just working on this steering stuff. Everything is so dirty down inside these Articats in the front all the time. So I'm going to get a couple cans of brake cleaner now tomorrow and uh, clean this out. But when i was taking my throttle bodies off i forgot that the oiling rod was under the throttle bodies that goes to the oil pump and i snapped the plastic clip so now i need a new oil rod which is not a big deal it looks like i got one found second hand already so i took out and replaced both these bushings one go up through the hole one goes down through right there in the front and then this piece slides down into it so like all the already cats got this front steering bushing so i have the steering post all mocked up into place spins fine no resistance or anything and now these are all the rivets that i had to replace on the outside some are for this aluminum bracket and then some are for this metal bracket right here and they hold your steering up in front in the yard cats and they got a tendency to break or you can like these rivets will start to get loose and you'll get a little bit of play in your steering. So I picked up all new heavy duty rivets and I get these all riveted in place. Another thing I found when uh, installing this steering shaft, it's nice to just bolt the shaft in because it goes through both this plate and this plate and that lines everything up and then you rivet everything in after. If not, I had issues where I wouldn't able to slide the shaft in and out of the, the holder properly because it wouldn't lined up when I uh, assembled it. So I have all the rivets in, 
after I'll mount it. Both them plates line up now. Now I'm working on installing the reeds. I had a, I have a set of used V43 reeds with new gaskets that I'm installing. So I've already cleaned the gasket surfaces. Make sure you clean those good for you don't get a leak in here because you slid well idle high and stuff like that. And very important not to have a leak of any sort of air at this part of the engine. So they're in now. Now I'm going to just clean up these uh, the oil injection boots and uh, get the throttle body cleaned up and get the throttle cable lube where I just installed the monster finger throttle and finger throttle brace. And then uh, I got to dial in the slack in the cable to make sure she's uh, opening wide up to full throttle and uh, probably going to have to bleed some coolant in that as well. So I got the airbox back in, throttle bodies are back in with the reeds all tightened up. Got the lower coolant line on both sides and I got the gas line on now. So I have the sled all reassembled, have the muffler on, the pipe on, all the springs. Got the ECU put back on the front. So I have new bar set up complete. New monster finger throttle with finger throttle guard. Uh, CFR grip, CFR boom docker 2.0 bars. New Speedworks wiring harness for the stop button and for the reverse. I also switched to a Polaris RMK uh, brake reservoir or master cylinder and lever. Also did CNA skis with new ski rods and new ski rubbers and hardware. So now I just need to throw the hood back on my sled and the side panels and she's ready for a trip tomorrow. So that'll be it for tonight's video. Till next time. So uh, back working on my sled again, got a, another upgrade or so to say a, another accessory. Recently picked up the Mountain Addictions uh, bag. I had the Mountain Addiction gas can now for the last like three to four years and uh, I've just been using the bag on it but I have another set of rails so I'm just going to drill some holes, get this mounted up. I can carry my gas can and my bag. I'll probably be running my gas can up closer to my seat. This is just for like mock up purposes. But I got that done. And uh, now I'm just gonna drill a couple holes. So my four holes, bolt that in, and then it should all be ready. Also, I'm gonna try to do something with my flap. So this was my flap. I had it when I was 141, I had it cut to this length and bolt it up but now with the uh, 153 with a 141 short tunnel the flap hit so I think I'm just going to shorten it up just to the already cat. I'm going to try to bolt it up for that way I don't have this piece with all the holes in it. It looks very unfinished. I want to try to make it more OEM looking. Keep it as clean as possible. Just got the gas can lined up. Made a couple marks. Now I'll just take the gas can off. Drill a couple holes. Really easy to do. Four bolts. Drill some holes have the mountain addiction gas can and a mountain addiction bag on i'll probably actually switch these around because the gas can is a little bit heavier so i'll keep that up closer to the seat but had this can now for four years haven't had an issue the bag is new I'm supposed to be able to hold a shovel up here and i think a avalanche pole and a uh, sh and a shovel handle here in the back but i think this is actually the lower version of the mountain addiction bag you can actually get a taller one or water and then it can hold drinks in the side also has like a uh, zipper up pocket up front but uh, it was a lot better than having to carry your water in your backpack and that. So it's the next day, just getting the shed uh, cleaned up. I'm gonna move all the sleds out, all uh, these three sleds, two of my dad's sled and mine, and uh, gonna get ready to uh, get my Civic. Funny, and I have a 95 Civic hatch that's gonna be uh, spending the winter in here, getting stored, and uh, get these moved out of the way. I have my uh, 1995 Honda Civic in the shed now. So this is where I'll be staying for the winter. So this is actually a uh, British Columbia car. It was uh, owned by a 75 year old lady. I purchased it uh, two summers ago and I just been daily in it in the summertime for like the time being. 
but plan on doing some upgrades now maybe over the winter just a little overview of the car everything's original nothing has been really changed maybe like spark plug wires and stuff like that original steely rims I think the fenders and maybe the door have been painted once or twice, but uh, everything in the interior is pretty much near mint. Little tear in the seat there, but other than that, very, very clean car. I am the second owner. Everything back here is really good. No rust, a little bit of condensation there for when she was outside for a bit, but very clean car. All the spare tire stuff and jack is all there, all original. The only piece I'm missing from the rear is the top cover that goes here. And uh, they're very hard to find, very expensive, but it's not something I really need. This project will probably start in the next, like, probably next, like, six or seven months. I'm, uh, I'm going to be collecting a lot of parts before I start taking the car apart.